Let's go over a comparison between the longest path and the critical path. So first of all, before we talk about this chart, uh, I want to mention that they are not the same. Many people think it is the same. We can just refer the critical path as the longest path, but it is not. Even in Promavera, Promavera clearly distinguish between critical and longest path. So for in PC, B6 filter, so this is a critical, it is one filter and another filter which is totally different, which is the longest path. And by Promavera definition of uh, critical activities, you can go to the settings, the settings of the scheduling. So if you go F9 or a schedule option and you go to options, so you will have here define critical activities as, so total float is less than may say for example is less than or equal say zero hour for example or whatever value you specify but let's say it's zero days we all know that critical activity is zero zero day total float or the longest path so now we know that it is different they are not the same so now i'm going to explain the difference between both so let's say we have critical path one. This is one path. And by the way, critical paths and longest paths can be related in the same project. It can be somehow independent. Say for example, uh, phase one and phase two in one project, building one and building two, bridge one, bridge two, and they have nothing to do with each other. So they are really independent. And there can be some dependency say for example uh, the concrete path and at some point it will be finishes path for example so when you analyze the critical paths of the project so you can have critical path number one and you maybe you can sort the promavera with total float path we have critical path one so this is it has this amount of delays so this is overall project delays in the project and this is the original project duration Data date, so we are doing one particular update right now. We are doing the schedule update right now, and this is a data date, which is here at this point of the project, around 60% for the project duration. So we are here now, data date. And this is the original project completion, and this is all project delays. So for critical path one, I had this amount of delays associated with it. Critical path two, it has this much delay. Longest path is a critical path, but the only difference is it, it drives the, the, the project completion date. So for one path, if I have this amount of project delays, which is the same as overall project delays from the schedule update, so the forecasted completion date of this particular path is the project is the forecasted completion date. So in Primavera, so this is the whole activities. So you can, for example, group by float path. But I have to run the option first. Options, advanced, project completion, say 10. Okay, no problem. And then, yes. Okay, so now I have, so this is by Promavera. So this is one path, this is another path, this is third path, they are all critical path, but they are grouping them by total float. So we have here negative 34, so let's increase the number. You see, so you will have now different total float value. So when you group by total float, you, when you group the schedule by total float, you will have, so what Promavera does here is they will group few activities which share the same total float amount. So all these paths here is negative 34. They are all linked together. So they grouped them under one path. Same for here, but maybe different links and you can go all the way down until you see 33 so now it's another path it's less critical so we got the point now this is all critical paths but the longest path is number one because this path 
it has the same total float negative total float as the whole schedule update and also the forecasted completion date of this path is the forecasted completion date for the whole program update so this longest path it is a critical path which has negative float but it is long enough or critical enough to drive the project completion if you want to learn more about delay analysis you can join our course delay analysis mastery visit www.smartpmtraining.com or you can register immediately at the link below the video.